Hello, my loves. I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm in the airport. I'm going to Nashville. <laughs> Entire life, Sarah. It's a joke. So you should do it. I felt so bad. So we've made it to Nashville. <laughs> the gang is yeah, almost all bad. here. We're going to the Airbnb. Oh my god, oh, that's amazing. I'm very sweaty. <laughs> do you would want us? To do? Yes. If, if Anna, if Anna were dead, she would want us to take her ashes to the bar with the yeah. little cowboy hat on yes. it and then party with it. That's At crazy. least that's what I would want. Anything happens, take me to Vegas. I get that. No, no, none of us have been here before. Yeah, we're excited. And so she's like, she sees like this guy running after this dude <laughs> and he grabs him and then he reaches in his pocket. My mom's like, oh no, he's going to shoot him. Oh my and he's God. like, he reaches in the guy's pocket and he like takes back his wallet because I guess the guy stole his oh wallet and ran off oh and he God. just starts beating the guy up. And my mom was like, oh, I'm not going to call the police. You stole that man's wallet. <laughs> One of my dad's business partners, yes. someone walked up to his car while he was at the stoplight. He had like his window down because mm -hmm. he was smoking. Mm -hmm. They tried to reach. That's why I don't put my windows down. Yes. They tried. He had his wallet on the dash, which was dumb anyway. That's stupid. They tried yeah. to reach in and grab his wallet, not knowing this guy, Brandon, he's like 6'5", 300 and something pounds. He's a lineman. Big as hell. Oh, he gets God. out of the car, grabs the guy by the skull, and bangs him into the oh, door. Oh, And he like oh. dents the side of the door, gets back in and drives off. Oh, my God. With like the dude's head. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It was dented. Dented. Oh, like that's legendary. <laughs> Just because he has to like get it fixed and he's like, so how'd this happen? <laughs> that car is so banged up. He probably left it there as a sign of pride. Yeah. Right. yeah no. I stopped putting my window. I don't put my windows down more than about this much. One crackheads. Two because mm -hmm. my friend was in New York and she was in a taxi and she had her like window down and she had her phone on her lap and the taxi stopped in traffic some guy on a bike just stuck his hand in grabbed her phone out of her lap and kept going oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. I was like it's almost impressive yeah, yeah, I was say, I was like, the coordination yeah, right. Olympic it's level I've been seeing those Jack Harlow thirst traps yeah. <laughs> so we have a 20 minute conversation about what is the appeal of Jack Harlow and I get the appeal our driver cannot <laughs> like she can't get in the conversation at all because yeah. we're being weird at this point <laughs> so finally we start getting into actual new orleans and i want to like drag the conversation back somewhere normal so i'm like man cvs walgreens they're the exact same shit what's up with that why, are they always like why was that your segue <laughs> no it gets worse it gets worse because then i'm like it really reminds me of those old twix commercials about the rainbow twix <laughs> And then we got into the Twix Cinematic Universe. Yeah. Oh no. Why I know so much about Twix candy Wait, bars. Wait, speaking of cinematic universes, um, I've, I've got into the Madagascar Cinematic oh, Universe oh, now no. because... It's better than the Cars Someone put... Nothing is better than the Cars Cinematic Universe. I don't want to talk about it. We don't have to talk anymore. about it. But I'm saying I've, trans I've transitioned now to Madagascar okay. because yeah. somebody pointed out that in Madagascar, when they show you um, Marty, like prior it's like when he comes to new york yeah they show like the skyline from central park and yeah. the zoo yeah. and the twin towers are in it <laughs> <laughs> and then when it flashes forward to present day they're gone which yeah. means that marty the lion witnessed both of the planes going into the twin towers <laughs> and the theory is the theory is There's that theory. the penguins did it <laughs> penguin, no marty was there we can't go that far man <laughs> 
Think about it, Rico does just constantly try to explode things. That is no. Because we've already gone too far of being like, okay, so in the Cars movie, there's a Cars Pope, which means there was a that, Cars Inquisition. Because there was! Jesus, that is quite there's cool. Car Jesus. There's Car and Jesus. And also, um, what is it? What model car do you think Car Jesus was? Because we didn't have cars back then. What do you think he was? That's a good point. Was he a car? T- well, the car Pope was um was a beetle, not a beetle, um a Fiat. <laughs> yeah, like um, yeah car Pope was a Very Fiat because it was Italian. Oh my god, the cars really dug themselves a hole. Yeah, apparently the writer of Cars has like a manifest where he wrote out like how Cars actually translates to the real world, but it's like locked up in Disney somewhere, and they refuse to release any of it to the public. What if we ask really nicely on Twitter? Do you think he's, like, contracted? He can never share this information? I think he would end up, like, Walt Disney frozen with his head cut off. Oh, my God. I still think we can break into Disney World and find it. Absolutely. I don't remember anything that's happened today. I've been awake since 4 a.m. But we're dressed. We're looking hot. These shoes do not match my outfit, but we're not talking about it. If I take all of my photos from the knee up, no one will know. Um, These are the ladies. Looking very gorgeous. We are about to hit Broadway. I'm very sweaty because our Airbnb doesn't have good AC. But when I get outside, uh, the lighting's going to be worse, so I don't know why I said that. But we will see you. We will try not to be messy, but we will have a yeehaw good time. In- <laughs> <laughs> we will be messy. <laughs> All right, we've made it to Broadway. Broadway! Uh, we got out of the car immediately. Immediately a man spots Sarah. <laughs> And um, immediately spots Sarah in her juicy booty. Oh and, my god. And literally pivot turns. It's like, where are we going, ladies? <laughs> he was ready to buy Anna her 21st birthday shots and everything. And of course, the dad of the friend group came to rope them all back in, was like, we got to go, man. <laughs> Day two of Nashville. Um, it's about, it's almost about to be one. We're actually gonna leave on time. That's that's shocking for a friend group, but yeah. We had an interesting time last night. I'm gonna say it was bad. It just wasn't what we expected. The crowd was a lot older. Uh, we noticed when we got there, we got there to Broadway around 10, 15, that a lot of people were leaving and we were like super surprised because at least like, when we would go out like in Gainesville and like place other places like in Florida, you don't really go out, like you pre at nine and then you get where you're going around 11, but we were like, no, let's get out a little early. We got there at 10. So many people were already leaving, like the people that were our age and we we're like, it's kind of weird. So when we got out, it was a lot of older people, like people in their forties and um, locals, which was really strange because everyone says locals don't, sorry, there was a bug. People say locals don't go to Broadway, but there were so many locals there, and we're like, hmm. we saw a lot of bachelorette parties, a lot of sparkly boots. It was really interesting. Um, it was like, let me tell you one thing nobody told me about coming to Nashville. So many fucking stairs. So every single bar on Broadway is like, they're all those giant kind of like brick blocks like you would see in Boston. And so all of them are vertical. So every, which is cool because like every single floor kind of has a different vibe going. Some of them had different music on different floors. Some of them have kind of the opening in the center. So every floor is like a mezzanine and then they have a rooftop. But point being, we were climbing upstairs all night and we're wearing heels. Like, so my boots are like really comfortable, but the issue is that they broke on the heel in the inside. So they were kind of like stabbing me, um, which was not cute, but. <laughs> I think tonight I'll probably end up having to wear different shoes, which sucks because I don't really match my outfit, but it'll be fine. But yeah, we we met some interesting characters. To say we oh my god, I think I told you guys this story already, but if not, um, we got out of our Uber as soon as we get out of our Uber. This man just like sees Sarah and is walking completely different direction. Completely turns around and goes, "Where are we going, ladies?" And we're just like walking with them and they were like they clearly have the one dad friend of the friend group who's like no no we're leaving we're leaving mind you we're walking and he's like oh how are you guys doing like where are you going we're like oh we don't know we just got here we've never been here before he's giving us recommendations all this stuff 
and then one of their other friends is like hitting on CJ. He was doing a terrible job of it. It was really funny. And their dad friend is like, guys, come on. We had walked all the way to the center of Broadway at this point. And he's just like trying to wrangle his friends back to get in this Uber. I'm like, I'm sorry, dude. But it was pretty funny. But today, the, the sky looks a little cloudy. It says it's not supposed to rain, so I think it's just overcast. But, oh, look at my bolo tie. Cute. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go down to Music Row and we're gonna go to Cumberland Park. I didn't pick it, so I don't remember the name. We're gonna do that and we're gonna go to dinner tonight. Um, and we'll see where the day takes us. The behind the scenes stuff, and then you can literally sleep in the tunnel. Oh my god. Guys, we're at Ash House. Look at my food, it looks. That does look You didn't have to stop talking. <laughs> Interrupt. Sarah's food also looks delicious. Thank she got a burger. You. This is chicken fried chicken. Apparently this is Thanksgiving stuffing, but I didn't know if I was gonna like it, so I got mashed potatoes. Also, the bus boy was really creepy and he hit on me while I was just trying to go to the bathroom. Yeah. Allegedly, I'm not trying to get sued. <laughs> <laughs> Disclaimer. Disclaimer, this is my lawyer right here, my future Hello. lawyer. <laughs> We're now at the park. <laughs> it's very pretty. <laughs> we also drove past Vanderbilt and I was like, it's the only old thing. I, we, I based my entire uh, perception on how old this city was based on Vanderbilt. It's the only old thing here. I was wrong. Can we go on a gondola ride in Vegas? Yes, we can. Yes, I've, I've, I wanted to go on one last time, but the line was so long. And my mom gets seasick and I was like, it's a gondola. She's like, doesn't matter. <laughs> Yeah, the tablets work, but the bands are uh, just placebo. Uh, it's been informed this is where they film <laughs> Percy Jackson and the lightning beam. Uh, you can tell why. <laughs> oh, break that bag. <laughs> it's oh my a god. metaphor. My god, none of you get it. As an English major, I'll explain. It. <laughs> either, based on the English that you have, it's either a metaphor for uh -huh. misogyny yep. or understood. So you can take your pick depending on what kind of professor you have. Did you guys <laughs> did you guys see the gay church when we were driving here? No, no I heard you say yeah. I heard you say I didn't want to say it again, just in case our uh, driver was not um, for the cause. But there was a church, and it had like the ally symbol, and it said "God loves everyone." It had a giant rainbow flag on it. Aww. It was gothic and cute. We love that. The gays would appreciate it. It was very camp. Love a gothic moment, like yes, her queen slay boots. <laughs> God, I don't claim her. We <laughs> don't, don't get claim. Rid of that. Get it's mighty dark out you guys but we're trying to take oh see you can't see me we're <laughs> we're at the l27 at the west end it's very cute we went a very nice man who told us to come out here and keep being sexy and take some photos those were his words he said you didn't come here to fuck around you came here to be sexy so you better take some photos on the bar right so um it was very cute you know a little lounge a little photo session um i mean it was just like appetizers but we're feeling it um, I can't believe I just did that, try to be serious. We're feeling it, we're about to head to Broadway after we take these photos. I am excited! This is the view, guys. It's absolutely gorgeous up here. Um, well, first of all, the lighting in here is homophobic. Second of all, uh, we're heading out into Broadway that we just left uh, L27. We took some very cute photos. We had a very nice man who told us to keeping sexy um i think i told you guys that in the last clip that i took but i also thank you um i also think that um because the alcohol is finally hitting me that i forgot that so we're already in i think we're all in a better spirit than we were last night um we're having a good time already so um let the good times roll Hi guys, I look busted and I sound like a crow. Can you tell we had a good time at Aldine's last night? <laughs> uh, we ended up staying there all night. 
It was lots of screaming, singing. This is why I sound like this. We just did the Crunchy Music Hall of Fame. We're going back now to do the recording studio tour. I can't record in there, unfortunately, or I would show you guys, but there's some really cool stuff. So our waiter walked right into my shot, um, and it was the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened in my life. Um, today has been good, but we are all exhausted, which is why I have not been vlogging because I forgot. But look at my food. We already ate it. I told you, I'm a vlogger. I didn't say it was a good one. I'm gonna eat now because we have to be back at the museum in 20 minutes because the freaking tour bus left us. They were like, you have 10 minutes, go to the bathroom, finish your drinks. We come back from the bathroom, they left us. We watched the tour bus drive away. So we're going back for our tour. Um, but it's okay because we will get to see Dolly Parton's recording studio. That's what matters. I'm getting video before it's too dark again like last night. It's our third night on Broadway. Last night was a time to say the least. <laughs> um, so we're gonna go do it all again with some improvements and no juiciness. Um, but yeah, I'll see you there. to the end of the trip. <laughs> we are getting food in the airport. We love to see it. I have absolutely no clue how much of this footage is usable. We'll find out this weekend when I edit this. So thank you guys for coming along. Nash Vegas was a great time to say the least. I love you guys and I will see you soon. I promise I'm trying not to abandon my channel. I've just been going through it. So enjoy the vlog. Oh, wait, I love you guys. Okay. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and follow me <laughs> on all my social medias. Bye.